and this 3D code tutorial uh, will just try to show you like a quick concepting in hard surface modeling. Uh, so uh, yeah, and this will be kind of uh, usage of 3D code for maybe concept artist or uh, you know some addition to to create some art in that can be used later on is in Photoshop and so on and so forth. So now I'll just kind of start a quick. Uh, a quick uh, tutorial or demo how to use a uh, just two types of tools here in, in 3d code and the first one will actually be the primitives and this is something like a boolean options now in this tutorial uh, i'll maybe start with this cube and i'll just show you like uh, we can kind of add this option so I can kind of really try to put this this kind of things together and I can add uh, and merge those those guys now you can see in terms of uh, voxels and so on and so forth uh, this will not be such great uh, resolution and also uh, you can see that within the main boolean operations then you can actually have like options like add and subtract so you can subtract from the shape now i'll just try to uh reset size and this is kind of a uh, bit annoying like in in 3d code uh, because it's not clear you didn't have like one button to reset the position now you can see uh if we take uh, a look if we press w to take a look like our voxel count this will be like uh not good enough for for a hard surface i mean it's good good enough for if we for example wants to continue to sculpt or something like that so i don't know i will maybe smooth this and kind of get some organic shape but for hard surface it is it's just not enough you know we you can see that we have like these artifacts on the edges and we want to have like clean edges in our hard surface modeling okay so i'll just kind of uh, start a new scene and now here before i start to do uh, anything i will just kind of deal with the resolution of my layer so uh, just a reminder you can increase the resolution of current layer here and i'll just go i'm just going to increase this resolution like till i get 16 times mm, and this might be a bit heavy for a certain type of workstations even for this one but actually it's going to produce uh, the best results okay so i'm just going to start to do something i don't have like a clear idea what i'm going to make so uh i told you that size does matter so we try to actually to use and to start with a very small objects here so Now, I'm just going to make this kind of cube. I can use a fillet here. And actually, I will use the add mode here to add to the, to the, um, to create a surface. So I'll just click apply here and it's going to take some time. And my surface is here. Okay. So uh, now I can continue to build upon it. So I will use this cube maybe and just resize it. Okay, it's a bit tricky with this and cursors in code. Uh, so they kind of having like this size that it's kind of overlapping with this function. But let's say maybe I can use the symmetry like here S and I will use the symmetry on X or maybe even on Z. So I'll just press S and Z. And here I can actually kind of uh, scale down this object and move it around okay so now I can see I'm kind of creating like a quick concept well maybe this is something like that can make this object stand on it just or maybe it will be buttons I really don't know but anyway uh, you can see it now i'll just add and you can see now 
since we are doing like a concept art, uh, we have no intentions to kind of do the retop on this one. But anyway, maybe we should kind of want to shade this in a different material. So if I want to shade it with a different material, I will most likely want it to use like a same another layer to do this. And also I will need to increase the resolution on this layer um, to have, I don't know, 16 times or maybe for this shape, the 8 will be enough. So I will just apply this. And now you can see I have like a lot of real time shaders here, so I can apply uh, maybe not metal, maybe some paint here, okay, or I don't know, something like this, or uh, actually let me use a polymer. So let's let's use something that kind of reminds like rubber, and on this thing I will look maybe some, use something that that looks like plastic. So now I can have like two shaders here, so I'll switch to my first layer and maybe I'll start to build uh, something a bit more interesting. So I'll just try to uh, reset axis, I don't know, and reset the shape here. Okay, which I not did it, but whatever. So yeah, if you really want to reset, then you really need to go and reset the position manually like this and scale like to be I don't know 10 10 10 so it's it's a bit annoying I don't know maybe I can switch but maybe I can reset position here as well so this is a good thing now and here um, I'll just kind of turn off the symmetry on X and just maybe use the one on Z here okay so I'll kind of raise this up a bit uh actually make it like so so now you can see here that that we are having like uh, this and i'll just kind of try to add this to the shape well it looks kind of okay but then i'll just undo this so i'll just push either this inwards or totally outward just I cannot like align it by any chance or maybe I can but whatever uh, so I'll just make it smaller whatever now okay something like this and maybe I'll make it like wider okay so I'll apply this which is kind of cool so now I can continue to Add or subtract the shapes so I can use this shape as well and uh, actually I'm just going to kind of um, try to try to subtract this shape now okay maybe to do it like so and just try to use a subtract mode now here maybe I can use I can use like a like a symmetry on X as well. Uh, so uh, now I'll just press Enter to subtract. So this is one way you can do it, and then I will move it, and then press Enter one more time. I guess, and then one more time. Okay, so now you can see. Uh, I'm actually not making this equally and this might be a problem now in, in kind of other 3D softwares that you can see out there you can actually make it like so uh, and uh, now I'll just try to, to uh, make it something like a, a bit different okay I just kind of no, fucked up myself, but whatever. Now let me kind of try to use it like this. Enter, not shift, enter. But sometimes you need to do stuff manually. I'll sh show you if we have like the other way around. If we need to copy more objects, then it can be 
use like a uh, warp option or rep i really don't know oh uh, ta -ta 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 oh rap okay but i'll show you that just in a bit i really don't i really want to kind of do this okay so a bit more here enter so move and then enter and move so it's apply instead of i'm going to click always here i can just move interactively while i'm working here and actually i can do it like i can do it like so so i use like a boolean here which is kind of cool now i'll just kind of choose these the other tool so maybe this pipe or i don't know uh how they call it here tube okay fair enough uh, in my they call it pipe but whatever so i can use fillet in this one as well and i'll just kind of make it like uh something like this so and in this case i'll just kind of add it maybe i'll make not that deep or maybe i'll kind of make slightly slightly kind of going outside but actually before i do that I will definitely kind of make a bit larger hole here and actually subtract it so like this and then i'll just try to make it like or can i can i now uh inside bevel whatever i didn't use it but actually top right is bottom radio a relative hole radius this is the one that i are uh, not just uh wall thickness okay so maybe something like this i need to really look at it from top so with the shift alt and five i can kind of go to the orthographic projection i'll put it something like this now and i'll just kind of put it to be like a bit more uh oh not subtract my man add okay so i'll just apply it and there you go i'll just press five to get out of the out of a perspective view so i'm just kind of going to change the tool or whatever to see now what i've made so far so i can kind of change the shaders just a bit to see how it looks sometimes you need a different shader to perceive to perceive a volume a bit better Okay, let's make something shiny or something like this with a more roughness. Uh, I made like the pretty much the same material like I did here. And I can check it out how it looks, how it looks in rendering. So I kind of just start to render. And you can see now that this kind of looking cool. which is awesome if you kind of watch some of the previous tutorials you know that now i if i click render i can actually save this kind of image so it will kind of open this stuff for me so i can save it like whatever and now when it comes to resolution um now you can see the settings here and it's really small resolution almost the screen resolution but if you want or aim for something more you can see here that you can go 10 times this resolution so 19,200 pixels by 11,470 which is much or you can go something like 4k but at this stage you can really you can really actually produce a large image for a for a stock site uh, now you can also store alpha channel now and let's see how the rendering will go okay and just try to render these out so uh, i'll just call it the big okay and i can see since i kind of uh decided to store the alpha channel it will render with the with the alpha channel as well so as you can see now it's going to take some time because now since i kind of chose for uh, not two times but four times um larger resolution it will uh, or greater resolution it will kind of uh, split this screen to kind of uh it will four times render the 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 screen resolution it's kind of 
strange. At least I kind of get it like this. But anyway, um, you can see it like it's it's kind of um, going to take some time. So maybe I should speed up the video, but maybe you want to have an impression how it's going to work. Well, it's it didn't took like that much. So uh, I'll just try to, to open this big now and try to see like view actual size. Okay, and it's big. I mean, you can see we have like maybe issues with the resolution. So maybe for it's really depend on the detail that you plan to do. Like maybe you go, you should go like for for more, you know. But anyway, and maybe with anti-aliasing. But for quick concept art, is it's kind of it's kind of okay. So uh, now we can go back here and actually continue continue uh sculpting so uh i'll just go for a primitives and maybe use this sphere now uh maybe i won't be needing symmetry on this one no uh I'll maybe just kind of uh, subtract this one. Okay. And then maybe I'll create a new layer. Okay. And just kind of raise it up. And then I'll just kind of put this sphere inwards so it means i'm going to use the add option and actually add a different shader okay so now as you can see uh i have new moment here so i can kind of actually i don't know aim for some other for some other options for the shading uh, let me see if i'm going to get something better results i mean these are the refractive shaders and actually this how 3d code actually faking the transparency uh and sometimes it can help sometimes it not but anyway i'll just try to, to put it on this other shader to see whoa not bad okay however i don't want the refractive shader on that one let's try to do the metal or something like this this is like far more better okay now you can tweak these shaders as well but so far you can see i'm getting a thingy here okay whatever it is now uh, i'll just press shift alt and five just to kind of get into the orthographic projection and i'll introduce the new tool uh which will be called like a cutoff tool which is kind of interesting tool uh, for hard surface modeling as well. Now cut off and I'll just kind of, when you're using by default settings, you will most likely get a settings like this. Now uh, I'm just going to use symmetry in this one. So I'll just show you like what it does. It can cut. So that lets me cut the shapes here. Okay. which is kind of interesting now you can say now it's okay but actually now this this can cut like too sharp sometimes we need sharp you know sometimes we need sharp but sometimes we want it to to make it like uh, a bit softer maybe i'll use the symmetry on x for this one now in that case like let's use this like the the this kind of uh, brush section in here uh, we have like a different options that we can use. So maybe we can use like a freehand like to cut with this tool if we need. Uh, not for this occasion. Uh, and we can use like uh, the circle. Which can be also awesome. I kind of like this one. Okay. Uh, I really like this one. I'm going to kind of leave it like this maybe. Okay, which is kind of cool. It looks like some kind of GPU or whatever. Uh, 
no, let me try to, to do it like so. Uh, cut off. Uh, so I'll just start from, from here to see. Well, nice. Okay, so it adds like a dynamic to this shape. Uh, no, let's add something to it. So let's press five, and maybe I'll just kind of use this kind of regular, regular cut tool here, uh, and just try to cut a bit from here. Okay, nice. Or maybe even smaller. Cool. Now, let us say that we might want to add some details on top. Like maybe I don't have any particular alpha. I'll use one of the default alphas. But actually, you will see now, instead of cutoff tool, I'll just try to use the extrude tool. Now, it respects these alphas here. Okay, so... Uh, um, if I, I'll just try to add symmetry on the X as well. Okay, so now I'm extruding like and pushing inwards, which is kind of quite cool. Now, maybe it's too deep, but actually you will admit, you will see that actually by this brush. No, it's kind of fuck up because it's kind of, uh, okay. So uh, I'll just press control to invert. Okay, and now you can see that I'm extruding this, so now I'm kind of wondering about this brush, it's kind of behaving stra uh, strangely, because, but you can see now it kind of really can give you an extra detail, can I kind of constrain it with the shift, no, it will just kind of smooth down. Uh, and maybe... I should I should kind of change the approach. So I'll open the new layer and I'll just go with the primitives. Okay, and actually going to create a single primitive here, which will be like maybe this sphere or maybe something something different. Okay, and now I'll just try to use this axial thingy. So now I can see that actually multiplying these things. And so far, I'll just try to actually position these spheres like here, which is kind of good. Okay, kind of real, real good. Now, yes, I won't be able to move it like this, but I can actually do things like that. Uh, and I'll just try to apply this. Now, you can see I, I got like a bunch of this stuff. So let me try to add some, some material here. Okay. It's ugly, but whatever. And now I'll just kind of actually move. So these materials are actually instanced. So, and, and I can kind of make stuff like this. So maybe something like that. I will maybe figure out how to delete these two spheres that I don't need. Uh, so if I want to make it like a single layer, most likely that I can kind of, that I can kind of, uh, use this um, merge options but so far um, no i'm just uh, good enough with this so but what you can do you can actually turn off visibilities of this guy so i will turn the visibility of this guy and i don't know and this guy so now i'm actually getting somewhere okay no, no, not not the rotate, but actually rather, rather this, and maybe let's try uh, with some other material. Let's 
let's try to render this one. Very, very nice. So this is kind of cool. Mm. Now let's let's cut it just a bit more. So I will just scan it for the graphic and maybe use like this cutoff. Uh, let me add a symmetry on. Well, I never know which one is which, but whatever. But not in this one, man. Just in this one, yeah. So actually, uh, I need to enable symmetry. Okay, so not on X, but rather on Z. Okay, cool. Or let's try something like this. I don't know. Cool, nice. So it looks kind of nice and mm, no I'm not going to do too much I'll just try to kind of use a primitives here and actually try to add a bit of a couple of cubes here so I'll just try to reset the position and size I'll just try with one one and one okay Ooh, it's a tiny little cube. Okay. <clears throat> so maybe I could do like a X as well. <clears throat> and just let's go over to graphic. And try to put it here now. We'll have uh, most likely dishes with this one. So because this kind of and this why we which may be better to use like a um this uh rather with the with this kind of primitive tools to subtract and then to add it again then then with the extrude brushes because it didn't prove to work that well in this situation now i'll add a new layer here up res it one two three four five actually four but it kind of didn't kind of Choose all of all of my clicks, something like that, and I'll just kind of apply this, and maybe try to add some different shaders. But in this case, let us go black. Okay. So now it looks kind of nice, yeah. So uh, Artman pack, not brushes, but actually. Let's see what the models we have here, like body parts, geometry, rivals. Okay, so this is like kind of cool. And let's try to use some of these. Okay, so it's a biggie, 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 but whatever. Now, these are some models, pre-made models, and actually you can make your models this in Maya or elsewhere. Just let me try to delete this one. One is always good like to add a handle for it so okay and then try to to put it like this okay nice Okay, slight. Well, you can answer yes or no for this one, but actually, I'll just kind of go for a different tool. And I can see I have it like 
I don't know whatever that that might be. Okay, I kind of didn't like it because now it's not smooth enough and so on and so forth. But anyway, and maybe I can kind of put it on a different layer, but we'll see about this. I kind of like it because it kind of goes here. Then we should make it like definitely smaller and put it like maybe more inwards. I kind of like this moment and maybe just raise it to kind of fill this this gap here. No, that is looking kind of nice. Now let us see let us see how it renders. let's watch the result now well quite nice new actual size really nice and quick render so you can see it it's, it's kind of very very kind of cool for, for concepting now maybe you should kind of go with a with a larger resolution but in a way it's kind of really really uh, it's kind of really really good uh, now maybe we can do a couple of different angles but let us proceed now uh, let's say I kind of sculpted enough even though maybe I can add a couple of more stuff here now uh, reset access uh, okay just, I'll just kind of apply it to see what it's doing uh, reset space uh, reset access okay hope this will be kind of good enough. And this is like a good way we didn't talk about how you transform the things in the 3D code. And there is actually a special tool for that. But I really need to find it because I'm not using it like very frequently. But it's called transform as you can see. So you can actually work on it. Okay. And maybe even kind of help you to tweak your stuff even further. Kind of like this thing, you know, going, going out of it. It has like this NVIDIA moment. Okay. Cool. Or maybe, I don't know, I can kind of duplicate it and put it like, rotate it like 90 degrees. So let's try to duplicate this one. And uh, did I duplicate it? Yes, I did. So rotate like, I hope it's 90 in this direction. I always need to actually, sorry, always need to actually try it. Okay, now it's like fully, fully NVIDIA thingy. Uh, maybe we should kind of put it something like, like this. Or maybe inwards, I don't know. Oh, this look kind of, kind of cool. Oh, maybe to do it like this. Cool. And uh, what should we do with this guy? Not this guy, this guy. I kind of like it, but I don't I don't know like where to put it. Let's 
so I'll position it like this and going to copy this layer just one more time and kind of put it like this which is kind of I think uh, okay -ish. cool And then I need to put like, to make this, to have some sec sense, I'll need to put a couple of more primitives. So I'll just create a new layer and actually just build it up to give some result, to gain some resolution and primitives here. And I'll just choose like a cylinder. Okay, so cylinder might, look good and now i'll just kind of do a symmetry on all the axes uh, okay so now i can see with here i can actually orient this in, in a lot of other directions so but actually i will need to enable this symmetry and also uh, I'm not, I'm, uh, okay, so now I'm just going to get this one on Z as well. So, now here I'm just hoping to get it right. Okay, and I'll just try to put it here. So that this guy, these guys here will kind of make, will kind of make more sense. Okay, so I'll apply that one, which is awesome. And now maybe I can get some metal material or I don't know why not get some plastic or something like this. I like this kind of orangey thingy. So show symmetry plane. And it's kind of look like kind of old uh, cassette player with the with the phone dial on top of it. So it's not kind of some uber concept, but it's good enough and we kind of figure it out on the fly so it's kind of cool maybe we can try to maybe um, deform this but some other story for some other time uh, what would i like to do here now maybe it's to transform it but actually uh, let's try to render it out to see how it works okay kind of nice here maybe I'll, I'll like to have like some other stuff on this on this handle and now in this case uh, I would like to maybe use some other tool which will be called like uh, this is the one I actually like very much this is like a vox uh, extra vox layer so uh, I'll just need to show the symmetry plane and uh, in this case, I will just kind of uh, need to paint it. Okay, why the fuck it does not do a symmetry? So, because I didn't enable it. So, for this brushes, I'll use like a bit of a more harder alpha. Okay, and I would like maybe, ooh, 
let's just try to to actually enable symmetry uh, on the uh, uh, y axis as well. So this is the kind of symmetry that I'm needed because I want this to be painted like from all directions. Okay. Or maybe I should solve this differently by using different different approach so something like this let's press five so let's say something like this okay so i like this i'll just kind of uh, do it one more time uh, let's say we're good with that <clears throat> and now what this tool is going to do it's going to duplicate these voxels based on this selection and now uh, I need to kind of adjust the layer thickness which I think should be like 1 or 0.5 for an example and uh, the offset will be 0.5 so I'll just apply it to see what it's going to do so it's going to cut out these voxels and put it on the separate layer i guess so this is the separate layer so i can use like this one here so that kind of looks cool maybe i should kind of give a bit of a more offset but it would look it looks cheesy as well so but whatever now you can see we have like now very very awesome and good result uh, and it can be improved like even even further now um, most likely that i should uh, rotate these guys because now i can cannot have like a good good view in the perspective so i don't know if i can kind of select a uh okay select the oh 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 oh, oh, oh uh control y i really don't want to do this like one more time okay i guess i could put the shader one more time uh, but actually um, merge sub three can i group these layers so let us transform but now i'm just transforming a single layer so this is what, what i what i don't like but can I can I just kind of do this like with a multiple selection, okay, and then transform, okay. Like this is kind of, or maybe I can just type like uh, ninety. Sorry, like uh, minus ninety. And there you have it, like pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Now, if we like, if we like, now I'm having like some holes here and so on. Maybe I should kind of resolve this, but, or maybe I should make this kind of offset a bit thicker. But you can see it looks kind of cool, even, even at this stage, like very, very cool. Um, now i can go further with this one and actually go to the paint mode and try to paint some textures on top of it so you can use like a smart materials uh, now i'll use one of these materials because uh, it's going to bake like all the textures that i'm going to be needed for painting on this one and most likely I would not do like the paint, but I just want to show you like this approach and how you can actually, how you can actually um, do an extra, an extra stuff on top of what you just modeled. So uh, now I'll just kind of turn the symmetry off and I'll just try to adjust like the 
pattern here. And maybe I'm just going to add an extra layer on top of it. So like, and then just try to paint. So you can see now I can even paint on top of this one. So even though I like this kind of, I don't like this kind of grungy look, I, I want this to look like new and shiny. But then again, you can see, you can paint on top of this one if, if you want to. However, I like this kind of thing on this kind of, uh, grip quite nice quite quite nice so i hope you find this tutorial useful and thanks for watching guys